This is Monty with Bill Brothers. We're at 4662 Gay West Drive. Sorry, my digital inspection underneath the eaves. We like to see the condition of the wood. Um, the eaves consist of the patient board, the rafter tails, and then the starter boards. We actually have plywood underneath these eaves, so they're actually boxed in. Um, condition of the eaves look good. Didn't see any rotten wood. It seems to be freshly painted, so we have a ni nice, uh, fresh coat of paint on here. And we do have drip edge. And it's actually been painted over. This whole thing has been painted over actually, but drip edge is good sign that allows the water to freely flow off the shingles and then off of the fascia board as well. So it doesn't soak into that wood. So we do have drip edge here. And what we're looking at is three tab asphalt shingle. Again, it's been painted over. So it's kind of hard to tell the amount of that granule loss, but you do see a little bit of that shine coming through. Basically over time, uh, baking under that sun, those oils begin to evaporate and those granules start to fall off, exposing that fiberglass. So normally you would see that fiberglass, but it's actually been painted over, so it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see the lack of granules on the material. We do see evidence of repair sections. Um, so you can kind of see the difference between the two shingles. We have this with a lot of granule loss and then these appear to be newer repair sections a lot of times with repair sections on shingles um, you actually have to rip up that old material and that leaves these shingles very loose so again you see the new shingle here and you see the old shingle so in order to get this up and under there I actually have to rip up the old material and you can tell this is newer too because of how recent the nail heads look so again this is very loose do have a whirly bird so there is only one point of exhaust ventilation definitely want to add more O'Hagan to get more exhaust ventilation up in here um, something I noticed on the edge over here again these are very loose but we see some damage starter shingles on here and then lift this up you can just see how loose this is we can see two exposed nail heads appear to be a little bit rusted that is evidence that water has been getting up and underneath and then starting to rust those nails. But again, you can see just how loose these are. Moving on over here, we do see two more repair sections right here. Again, every time you do a repair section, that is going to damage the shingles themselves that was previously there. So again, you can just see how loose these are. Anytime that there is wind driven rain, that rain, that wind is gonna lift these up and that rain is gonna go straight onto these nail heads. Same thing over here. You can see this repair section. When we, once we start going to the back, that's when you're gonna start to see some of that granule loss. It's gonna collect up on here. This just happens over time near the end of a product's usable life so you can see just the collection of that granule buildup and again for consistency we see just how loose these shingle tabs are so every single one of these is lifted up and we see a couple of damaged shingles back here as well so he's actually been ripped that one's really bad. But these are all essentially loose. So anytime there is wind driven rain, these are gonna lift up and allow water access underneath the roofing material. So this just tells us, again, the product is at the end of its usable life. My recommendation for this roof is to either one, we can do an overlay, which is another added layer of shingle on top of this. This is only one layer, so we are allowed to do that in coordinate code. Or what we can do to address any rotten wood is to rip off this old material, replace with new, and replace any rotten wood that we find on the wood decking. Um, and then also, we would want to add some more exhaust ventilation on this roof, so add O'Hagan vents and it has a very nice long ridge line so this would be a great candidate for the Owens Corning ridge vent essentially turning this entire ridge line into exhaust ventilation 
so that is also another option um, but yeah this roof is at the end of its life expectancy um, we do see multiple repair sections that have been done in the past when we see repair section that tells us that there has been a leak in the past um, and this has been done to mitigate some of that so that would be our professional recommendation. Also, all of these penetrations would be resealed as well. Thank you.